Catholics here in Warsaw are awaiting the Vatican's first ever trial for sex abuse against a former archbishop from Poland. Józef Wesołowski faces criminal charges of paying for sex with minors and possessing child pornography. The trial begins this Saturday in the tiny city-state, the headquarters of the 1.2 billion member Roman Catholic Church. A former long-term Vatican correspondent from Poland said the case shows the church's approach to dealing with reports of paedophilia is changing. From the Poles' point of view, it is a very shocking case because over a dozen cases of paedophilia in the Polish church were revealed. But Poland has started to cope with it very well. Following the call, the categorical call of Pope Francis for zero tolerance for paedophilia, all churches around the world, including Polish ones, have implemented very rigorous rules about how to proceed with clerics who commit these evil acts. Polish Archbishop Wesołowski, a Vatican ambassador in the Dominican Republic, was arrested in September last year. He faces jail if convicted, although where exactly is not known, possibly in Italy, the Caribbean or his native Poland. Warsaw residents have been giving their views. Pedophilia as an occurrence is absolutely negative, and these cases should not be swept under the carpet. I think there will be a fair judgment. I'm counting on it. If he is guilty, this trial will not hurt the church. If they don't do anything, it will go on. So I think Veselovsky should be judged and should pay for what he did. After his recall to Rome, he was defrocked by a Vatican tribunal and lost his diplomatic immunity.